this is JD the comic otaku with a with a tutorial on how to draw mech suits you know like right now I'm just drawing the basic underlying art that will be used to help you know the reference the layers so that way we know how to draw the suit which isn't gonna look pretty but basically that's the point it's supposed to be you know a you know underlayer to help you learn how to draw so basically Anyway, uh, right now I'm dressed for the body, so. Also, very cool idea to move the image to a point where you think it's secluded and then start drawing the limbs further so that way you don't get cut off. figure is drawn in basic, you know, sort of stick figure, but it's drawn in, it has muscle mass and stuff. That's no accident. It was used to help understand where all the, you know, parts are going to go. And, yeah, there's a failed piece of chain I did, which got changed in the final version, so... Yeah, sorry. You're supposed to draw around it so that way it looks realistic, you know.
finishing up the gun, so yeah. Hmm. Looks like I'm going for a rail gun here. Yeah, it looks like a rail gun, a sci-fi-ish rail gun. Is he gonna have a Ooh, cool. You know it's got missile launchers. Cheers. Let's put missile launchers. That's gonna be cool. And also put a scope or laser sight on there. Yeah, if you're thinking, am I drawing to draw a sight on the head? Uh, that was the original plan, but I removed it in the last minute. So, it's going to last until I move it on to the right soldier. If I'm getting ahead of myself. Also, on the left, on the right soldier, I decided to draw a Gatling gun. So, yeah, I forgot to put the arm but I also need to make it look more, you know, feasible. And trying to simplify it too. I mean you gotta draw it more complicated, but not too complicated. People won't know what it is. Is if you don't have enough detail and if you don't put too much detail it's kind of a balancing act. This tactic is to try to go as simple as possible, but not too simple. That way you can actually make it look like a gallon gun. Well, it's been too much work into it. And yeah, I know it's a hard thing to do, but man, that looks awesome. Anyway, uh, let's put some more missile launchers. Maybe two missile pods together. Micro missile pods together on the Gatling gun. And let's put a, another two on the other side. You know, be a little liberal about it. And let's add a bullet magazine so to explain where the bullets are coming from. Hmm, I guess I should draw some tips to them so that way it's like their bullets being loaded in. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool looking. And yeah. Also, put a little bit of. Weekly, put little lines inside the. You do the mechanical design. Yeah. Hmm. Let's put a little mech detail into it. To give it that more. You know, robot or mecha look to it. You know, like anime power armor. Yeah. Anime power armor. That looks so cool. Anyway, let's add a few. Shoes, well, not real shoes, but I always draw. I tend to draw the armored suit shoes as uh, sneakers. It makes more sense, you know. I mean, superhero shoes almost look like sneakers at times when I draw them. I always draw them like sneakers probably because it's easier to identify and I guess consciously think, oh, that looks like a sneaker, so it's got to be a shoe type thing. So you can tell where the boots are on my designs. Excuse me. <laughs> oh boy. Also, draw more mech design details. You can easily draw mech design details simply using small amount of line work. You don't even need a lot of line work to actually mech detail. Then, heck, you can even do flaps. Just simply do a triangle, put two wing areas. Just you draw the two hinges and da da. Two lines on each side as hinges and da da. You have a flap. It's enough to communicate that it's a flap and also enough to what it is, you know? And yeah. Here's the other shoe. Start. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like I said earlier, try that strategy. Yeah, that would definitely make those look like flaps. You know, for stopping and maneuvering or whatever. Oh crap. Okay. 
don't know, I almost forgot to draw the outer lines. A little bit more. Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay. Thinking this almost done. part two so in the future with a, a giant mech suit concept so until then see ya bye don't put the hello my fellow comic otaku this is JD the comic otaku and I like to announce that we now have eight books available on our you know indie planet store and we have the newest book called uh, Kunai the Sins of Kunai Issue 1 well not Issue 1 but Kunai Sins of Francis Kagula Part 1 of 3 Four assassins have kidnapped a young girl in the whole area of Rastin or his bait when a, whatever reason they get, whatever reason Kunai intervenes to save the girl which despite his heroics kind of hits home with him due to one of his daughters are around that age but what if this is a setup for something worse also marks the first appearance of Stryker, the most deadly, unkillable assassin. What is his goal in this book, and who hired him? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's going to be an original story. Page count is 16 bucks. Costs about 4 50 99 cents for a digital download. Click on the link in the description. And have a nice day. Peace.